All right, so today I'm going to show you how to analyze data imported from MySQL in Excel 2013. Let's say you have a basic MySQL sales database with order information, and you want to create a chart you can use for a report showing seasonality for the previous year versus the company average. Assuming you already have the ODBC MySQL driver set up, click Data, From Other Sources, and then choose From Data Connection Wizard. Select ODBC DSN, and then select the name of your MySQL database, which in my case is SQL-Excel. From there, select the table that you want to analyze, and then choose to have your data displayed in, in a table starting in cell A1. Now insert a new pivot table in a new worksheet. Drag total price down to the values area and then drag order date down to the rows. And then you want to filter the order date to only show dates before 1-1-2015. And then group the row labels by months. And then show the total price as a percentage of grand total. So you now have the average sales percentage for each month from October 4, 2009 to December 31st, 2014. Create a new worksheet and then copy and paste the data to it. And you want to make sure to add new headers. All right, so now you need to get the monthly sales averages for the current year, 2015. So going back to the pivot table, Filter the order date again so that only 2015 dates are visible. Then copy and paste the new data to the summary sheet. Click anywhere in the range and then hit Control T to turn this new range into a table and then click anywhere in the table and click insert and choose recommended charts. Change the tab to all charts and select combo and then you want to change average to a line with markers and then 2015 to the cluster column. Click OK. Let me make this a little bit bigger. So finally, right click the average line, select Add Data Labels, Add Data Callouts. Now select the data callouts, right click, and select format data labels, and then unselect the category name. Okay, so with the analysis done, you can see that in 2015, the Christmas season wasn't as strong as it has been in the prior years. Next, you would want to look at each year and see if you can establish a trend. Perhaps the holiday season sales have been decreasing since 2009, or perhaps 2015 is an aberration. Either way, your goal is to use this past data to continue the seasonality analysis coupled with other types of analysis in order to accurately forecast 2016 sales. Alright, thanks for watching.